One of the things that we need to do, we need to hire a warden. Now, hiring the warden will unlock bureaucracy. Now, this is your tech tree, right? And we want to get on with this as soon as possible. So, we're going to go to staff, and we're going to go to warden, and... Now, you'll notice that this is zero of one. You can only have one warden. Whereas with like guards and cooks and workmen, you can have as many as you like. Right. So let's hire him. Now he's a thousand to hire. Lovely. Excellent. He's um he, now this has unlocked bureaucracy. It's also unlocked prison grading. But the prison grading screen, right, you've got to have ten prisoners released before you'll see anything on there. So we'll get to that when like way, way down the pipe. Right, uh, let's um, go and have a look at bureaucracy. Now this is your tech tree. This is all the stuff that you can unlock, right? And we want to get this going like ASAP because each one of these takes a certain amount of time to unlock. This takes five, uh, six hours to unlock finance. To unlock security uh, uh, takes uh, another six hours, right? But it, it's not consecutive. It'll unlock one then it'll start unlocking the next one, right? And we want to unlock probably four of these straight away. We want finance so that um, we can get our accountant because that will complete one of our tasks and get us uh, like uh, $5,000. Uh, and then we're, we want maintenance. The reason we want maintenance, first of all, it unlocks a bunch of stuff, which is all very useful, like prison labor and cleaning. But cloning is really, really useful when, you, when you're building your prison. You can just copy areas of your prison again and again and again. Uh, very, very useful. So we want to get that really quickly. Um, security, really important. One of the things that you want to be able to do is segregate your prison so that minimum security prisoners can be kept in different areas from medium security and high security prisoners. Okay, And that's deployment to do that. And also to, to place your staff and, and set up uh, like patrols and all kinds of stuff. It's all over here. So getting security, really, really important. Uh, so the psychologist. The psychologist will let us see the needs of our prisoners. So he's really important. And also, like health, that's really important as well. Because um, if people get injured, which they will a lot because there are a lot of fights, uh, you want to be able to heal them up. Otherwise, they die. So health is really important. So we need to get this stuff researching ASAP. So what are we going to start with first? I think first we're going to go with security. Right Now, he needs an office before um, we can actually get this guy. Um, and we need, uh, see the warden, it's saying the warden needs an office. So until the warden gets his office, this won't start. Uh, I think we're going to go with that and then maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the accountant and then maintenance and then the psychologist. Right, so we'll, we'll kick off with those four and it'll do them in that order. Okay, that's enough about the tech tree for now. Right, we need to get this guy's office built. So, what else do we need to finish his office? Let's go to objects. Actually, let's go to rooms first, because if we designate this as an office... Now, this isn't going to be his office. This is going to be the psychologist's office. So, in actual fact, we need to go to materials. Oh, no, we've already, we've already done that. But we need to go to objects, and we need to put in a door. But if we go to rooms and designate this as an office, uh, so hang on a second, where, 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 office, here we go, here's office. So, and again, it, it won't show you the walls that are being built, which I find a little bit annoying, because I want to see the walls that are being built. Let's take this off pause, so these guys, like, get going. So, we're going to have a wall here, so I know that this is going to be 4 by 4 there, right? Now I can see, because he's put that wall in. This is going to be another 4 by 4 here. Bump. And then there's going to be a gap. And then another 4x4. Four four, right? But in actual fact, I don't want to put these in quite yet. I, I, I could mark them out, but I don't want to finish them. Because I want the warden to go into a specific office. I want him to go into this office, not this one. Because I want to reserve this for the psychologist. Ha ha ha. So how do I do that? Well, the easiest thing is just don't put any furniture in it. Uh, this needs an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet before it's usable. So, um, 
yeah, we're just not going to put them in. But it's useful to have doors, I find. So we're going to put, first of all, now you can see the context sensitivity. Because we're dealing with offices, it's highlighting the, the four items that are relevant to offices, which are doors, chairs, filing cabinets, and office desks. Very handy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a door in here, and we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it there. Why the hell wouldn't we? And then we'll have a door uh, there, and a door there, and a door there. Right, so we've got those four offices with their doors. Right, let's get the warden into his office ASAP. I'm going to pause this for a second while we uh, while we lay his office out. So we, first of all, we put in a desk for him. Uh, we want his keyboard facing the right way. So there we go. Let's put uh, let's put his desk there, and then he wants a chair to sit in. So I'm going to give him a chair. Boom. Now. He doesn't need another chair, he only needs one, but because it's the warden, I think he should have a chair for his visitors. So I'm gonna put that in, even though, so I've just wasted $30, but I don't care, because I want to do it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a filing cabinet, somewhere for him to keep his, his important documents, all of the records on all of the prisoners. Right, now we can let this run. So these guys are gonna get on, and they're, uh, Fin gonna can finish off these jobs, like the good lads that they are. Right, now, I'm gonna pause this for a second because while I want that done, right, this is, a, this is only a, a, a relatively small amount of work. They'll do that very quickly. I want them to get working on the next room that I'm gonna put in. Now, the next room that I'm gonna put in is, it's not required, it's not required in either the basic detention center or the administration center, okay? But um, I think it's, I just think it's an awesome room. And the room is, uh, where is it? Here we go, the reception, okay? Now, what happens is when prisoners arrive, if you've got a reception, they'll be immediately taken to reception and, uh, and they'll be strip searched, which let's face it, is always fun, right? And it's a great way of filtering out any contraband that new prisoners are bringing into the prison. So we want to we'd like stay on top of contraband, like right from the beginning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in uh, a room. Now, what I'd like is a couple of desks and then probably like maybe four tables. OK, uh, and you'll see kind of why I want that much stuff in, like when we when we get going, because when we start to bring in a lot of prisoners, this is this potentially can be a bit of a bottleneck. So we want a fairly big room for this. So I'm thinking we go to building. I'm thinking we're going to want something. I'm going to need uh, a space and then two spaces for a desk, then a space. And then a table, which is f uh, four. Uh, and then another space. So that's one, two, three, four, eight, nine. Uh, so that would be nine. So yeah, that two, one, four. Yeah. So I want it. I want it that big. <laughs> Trust me. I, I yeah space two space for space yeah that's how big I want it so boom let's put that puppy in right and then at this end yeah we're gonna want another door for them to uh, to go so they'll come into here they'll be processed they'll be strip searched all and all their details taken down and all their papers checked and all the rest of it and then they'll be taken off to the holding cells oh yeah we'll get to that Right, so let's put in a door. So objects, and uh, we want a large jail door, and we'll put that there, boom. Right, now we're gonna have a couple of other rooms going off here, but this is, um, this is kind of like working out nicely. I like this, we've got a nice airlock to come through, and uh, then we come into this, and then they'll get taken into the main prison. Now, I think we'll probably have vis the visitor's room um, over here. And, and maybe ultimately another one over here. Or well, I think this is going to start off maybe as the infirmary. We'll kind of see how that goes. 
I'm not quite sure exactly how this is going to pan out at the moment, but we'll see. Right, let's get them building. Enough yak. Let's get them building. So some of them are going to go and work on the office and, uh, and get that. And we'll, we'll watch the office be put together. And as soon as there's an office available, it'll change to say it's the warden's office because um, he's going to claim the office. Look how strong these guys are. Like, they're a great big desk with a computer and everything on it, and he just carries it in, one bloke on his own. And there we go, we've got the warden's office. Now, you'll see these big flashing electrical symbol symbols, meaning that this is not hooked up to the electricity yet. Well, why is that? We put in the power. Ah, yeah, but we didn't hook it up. So we go to the utilities view, come all the way over here, and you can see that um, we've got our power station, right? And we've got our capacitors, and we've got our water pumps. But the water pump is flashing because it's not connected to the power. So the first thing we do, we take some electrical cables and we hook it up to the water pump. Good plan, because then we'll start pumping some water. Then I'm going to run cables all the way down to the main building. Now, these these things don't need to be connected to every one of these um, these are actually representing lights okay uh, I'm gonna run it down as far as there okay and I'm gonna let it build and I'm gonna kinda show you uh, once it's built like how far the the area ex of, it, of its influence extends um, how are we doing how are we doing for time our, our inmates our new intake of eight prisoners will be showing up in 19 hours and by then we've got to have built a holding cell, a shower, a yard for them to exercise in, a kitchen and a canteen to feed them. We've got to hire uh, a couple of guards and a couple of cooks. So we've got a lot to do, a lot to do. And that isn't, that, that doesn't even cover their basic needs. That's like the most absolute basic thing you could build. But like it doesn't have a laundry, it doesn't have a hospital, right? So there's, there's lots and lots of things that we need to do as well as these. Right, as you can see, these guys are putting in the cables. And as always, they, they tend to always build it like the wrong way, right? So instead of starting where the power is, so that you get the power feeding out. Nope, they start the furthest way, place away, and then they build it all the way, and then suddenly all your power gets switched on in one go when they put in the last segment. <laughs> ah, gotta love them. Gotta love them. Right, now, has the warden got his office yet? Yes, he has, hasn't he? Uh, why am I pausing it? Let's get rid of that. Right, so, yes, the warden is in his office, in the dark, trying to read, and saying, why the hell isn't the power on? I think, what do you think? What do you think our warden's going to be like? You think he's going to be quite posh? You think he's going to be a posh British warden? You think he's going to be, hey, excuse me, my good man, why, why, aren't the, um, why aren't the electrics working? What are, you, what are you Johnny's up to? I think he's like that. That's what I think. Right, so, let's have a look. Um, I keep it in pause. Let's go to utilities. How are we doing? Oh, they've left it all to one bloke. This will be Joe. The bloke that ends up doing all the work is always called Joe. Have you noticed that? Go on, Joe. You, you, you finish it off, all right, mate? We, we're going to go and grab... We're going to go and put the kettle on. We'll get the kettle on for you. So there'll be a nice cup of tea work, uh, waiting for you when you finish all the work. Joe's got bored now. He said, look, either you guys come and help or screw you, I'm going home. Is it Cartman? Screw you guys, I'm going home. Here we go, the last section's going in. Oh, see, look. Now they've done that bit, we've got some power. But they're gonna lit, oh, oh. He's done that bit, so this fits on. One more. Now, when he puts that section in, right, all of this fills in. And you can see now that these lights, even though they're not directly connected to this power cable, um, I'm gonna pause it for a second while I'm yakking. Uh, you can see that the, it, it extends out to a certain radius. But um, it doesn't like extend all the way up to all of these offices and stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a bit more in. So we'll have a bit going up here, probably about that much. Well, that'll do us for now, I think. And uh, I, I, it's not really important to have this storage area lit, but I think it's a nice idea. So we're going to run this one down here a little bit. There we go. Now make all. 
all this lit. Cool. Okay. Right. What next? Let's go to um, let's go to rooms. So we've got this guy's office done. Right. Um, this is going to be the the psychiatrist, like I said. So we need to get two offices working in order to um, finish the administration centre. Um, we've got, well, there's other things we've got to do. We've got to unlock finance and hire an accountant, but we want to get this done. So let's get some uh, some more offices. Let's get two more offices uh, done and equipped. So we'll go to rooms and did I, I haven't already marked them out, so no. So let's mark out this office and mark out this office. And then we'll put in uh, some bits and pieces for them. So we've already got the doors. So we want uh, we want a couple of chairs. So let's put a chair in there and a chair in there. And then we'll get them a couple of desks. And again, I want them I want the keyboard facing the right way. Right, so there we go, and there we go. And then uh, a nice filing cabinet, which we'll pop in the corner. There we go. So, right, we turn that on and get that going. Right. Uh, what next? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it because I'm gonna try and keep the workmen busy because we've got a hell of a lot to do in a relatively short space of time. Right. What are we gonna do in here? Well, we need to designate this as reception. Okay. So here's reception. Boom. Right. And then it'll tell us what we need. First of all, it needs to be indoors. Well, it is indoors. Uh, then it needs an at least one office desk at least one table and at least one chair right well we're gonna have a bit more than that because because I'm gonna be excessive so we're gonna to go to objects and we're gonna get where's desk here's desk so what I want like is for the, the prisoners to file in and we're gonna have um, a desk either side right now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a space so that people can filter out through the door now if I put the desk there they'd still like walk through but I think it's kind of nice it, it's more aesthetically pleasing if you leave a little bit of a gap so um, is the keyboard facing the right way no it's not I want to be that way there we go and then this one should be that way around there we go and then they're gonna want a chair to sit at so that's gonna be there and then this chair is actually gonna be this side can you see there's a there's a there's a pedestal on this side there's drawers so that the chair should be on the, the left hand side and uh, <laughs> like the, the stupid details uh, and then what do I want then I want some tables now the tables this is where the the, the the prisoners when they come in they'll 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 dump their old clothes here and the, the the new uniforms for them will be here and then they'll be strip searched and all that kind of stuff so we're going to put in I think we'll put in like do I put it in the corner or do I put it there I think I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to put two tables in the center and then I'm going to put one over there, right? So this means that there's plenty of room to accommodate, like bringing a lot of prisoners in at the same time, which is what I want to achieve. Right, now, what do I want to do about putting in the, the holding cells? Now, that's a very, very good question because um, we've got, We've got our deliveries, we've got our garbage sorted out, we've got our entranceway, we've got the beginnings of our offices, we've got our reception. But what happens to our poor prisoners when they've been brought in, heads down, you know, they've had all their details taken, they've been strip searched, humiliated, and then they're taken off to the holding cells. What happens then? Well, you're going to have to wait till the next episode. I'll see you for that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If, uh, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the series, what you like, uh, what you want to see in the series, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for the next episode. Peace out.